Hey Spanish ones, so I'm going to show you, it might be a little confusing and I don't want it to be confusing at all for you, so I'm going to show you how to read your syllabus. So this is what we cover in class on Mondays and this is what you do for homework. Okay, so right here I have it divided up um, in four days, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Okay, this over here, let me open this up. This right here is just something that I added um, to help you. So this is what I added to kind of help. Okay, so right here is what you will do for Tuesday, for example. Get your classroom policies signed, read and signed by you and your, uh, your mom or dad. And then you will be working on worksheet P1, which is this one right here, worksheet P1. And so all you have to do here is um, circle. Um, it's in Google Classroom. If you cannot uh, write in the text, then you can just simply put number one, fill out a sheet of paper on a separate sheet of paper, I mean. Uh, let's see, I think I have one right here as an example. Write your name, Spanish 1. It's very important that you write P1, P2, whichever worksheet it is. That way I know which one it is. P1 and then the date. So if you're using a separate sheet of paper, you're going to write number 1. And then let's do this together. ¿Cómo te llamas? What is your name? And so person A is saying, hola. Would they say hasta luego or, or would you start out with como te llamas? You would start out with como te llamas. So over here, that is what you would put. Como, make sure that you use your accent. Como te llamas. If you don't use an accent, we'll go over that in class, it becomes another word. Okay, so that's for part A. Forgot to put that down. Okay, and then you come down, but other person answers, me llamo Ruben, y tú? My name is Ruben, and you? And then the person A says, me llamo Antonio. Then person B says, mucho gusto, or bien gracias. So which one is the one that fits? It would be, part B, mucho gusto. Okay, and then, Igualmente, Ruben. And then you would start with number two. Number two, and then A to A, you would write the answer. And then you don't have an, uh, okay, so then we go A again. And that's how you would fill those in. Okay, and so let me go back to our syllabus. Okay, so that's what you would do on Tuesdays. On Tuesdays and then uh, for example number one is usually Tuesday and then on Wednesday you would read Tu versus Usted in textbook page five and so that is right over here okay and then you will also work on P2 so worksheet P2 And right here, all you have to do is circle the phrases below, okay? Um, and some of them you also have to underline, okay? And so that's P2, and then on Thursday, on Thursday, you will do worksheet P3, and then you will review vocabularies 23, on pages 22 and 23, and then on Friday, you will read numerals on page seven, okay? So it would be cero, uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve, and right here we have diez, once, doce, trece, 
14, 15, it's almost like if the U was silent, 15, 10 y 6, 10 y 6, 10 y 7, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 30, 31, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. And then I just added this so that you can make sure you have this turned in by 90.